Hey guys, Bugman here. Uh, we have the packages arrived for the Callahan brakes for my F-250. These brakes are appear to be just like the brake motive, just like the power stop. So I just popped the boxes open, kind of check them out before I put it on video. I want there to be something uh, I didn't want you guys to see. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, so I'm going to lay, lay this all out and then go through what everything looks like. Um, the packaging was actually really good. So this is calipers, rotors, and brake pads for all four corners of the F-250 uh, 2005 Ford. So four boxes and they are heavy. You know, I think that's four calipers and four rotors is the main weight. Uh, I honestly didn't think they were gonna come packaged this nice. Uh, it's called breakoverstock.com. I actually got it through eBay. Um, and the, it's kind of a joke because of the, I wanna say it's Tommy Boy, but I can't remember on which movie it is. Uh, the Callahan brakes that he was in charge of and ha 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 uh, so as far as packaging goes they are you know quite secure they use the air packages they have secondary boxes in, in here the only thing that was kind of out brake pads were sitting on top I believe that's a rotor but that rotor uh, I haven't opened them up yet I'm assuming it's probably packed with foam so the brake pads they could have moved around uh, they, they've got a good five inches between that secondary box and the top of the main box uh, with all these all this air on top of it. So they couldn't have fallen down into the little gap there. Uh, the package is too big, but it was all in all packaged really well. So I'm going to get these all unboxed, put them up on the table so we can take a look at these and see what we think. All right, guys, got her all unboxed. And there she is. So, breakover stock on eBay, Callahan. Uh, so, these look really good. Uh, there is absolutely no oil on these. They're zinc plated, it's supposed to be really good. Uh, several. Other videos I'd seen on those guys that actually run them, take them back off to show them later. They rust down the road, but they rust nothing like a stock rotor um, surface rust where they're just horrible. So yes, you're going to expect these are going to um, get some surface rust on them. The zinc's supposed to really help, especially if it's been done really well. Obviously, where your brake pads are at, there's not gonna be any zinc there. So if your car, truck sits there for a few days and wet weather it is going to rust on that surface especially so uh, those are all marked the rotors are as far as which end they go on so that's actually pretty nice I mean it's pretty obvious on the f-250 which one's which size is pretty close except for the hub part because the rear has a drum parking brake but hey they kind of make them stupid proof so if you're in a hurry maybe you won't screw up uh, brake calipers look good. I am absolutely excited because I couldn't find out about one thing, and that was the pistons. I was a little worried I was going to get, if the piston was good enough and moved, not scored, they're going to shove it back in. These are all brand new pistons, all new seals, boots, uh, all the slider pins, brand new, all bolts. Bleeder valve, brand new. All the bellows are new. Uh, there's a couple chips here, you know, about one per rotor. I found a little chip here and there. It's actually really good. The paint's a uh, really nice paint. Hopefully it lasts. I'm trying to consider if I'm gonna go ahead and shoot them again uh, over the top of their paint. The issue with that is what if my paint isn't compatible and I get the wonderful spider cracking going on. So I'll probably just leave them because they're thick enough. They're the red that I wanted. Uh, this isn't a show truck. I just I like pretty things uh, Brake pads they all came with clips another nice thing is there are for the brake hoses brand new 
copper crush washers and you put your brake hose on and then of course your brake clips for the pads. Um, I have brand new rubber hose set coming. I was going to go stainless steel. All the stainless steel, you're going to pay $100 more and I actually couldn't find graded stainless steel lines that were for standard truck, which are good for about a three inch lift. I have not heard of any guys complaining even on the four inch lifts. You might have to undo a bolt and let them uh, flex a little further down. Uh, everything like the Russell Super Lift has the stainless braided lines. Uh, all those are for four to six inch lifts or you can go longer. That means you have to coil the thing around. Uh, I've not. I've had them on trucks before. They're good. But I also look at it as, hey, like I got the rubber hoses now that's been on there for 20 years. And there, I think there could be a problem with a couple of them not letting the caliper release. And that's why I've got hanging calipers. It could be it's the piston. But either way, I thought it's 20 years old. Replace these in case the internal part of the hose that you can't see is acting like a check valve and causing my brakes to hang. Uh, my right front hangs up really bad, uh, but that is after a perfectly fine drive around town. You take especially a heavy trailer load, drive down the interstate, get everything nice and toasty warm, and then need to use the brakes because you've got, gotten off on the on-ramp, you're going through town then afterwards, and it brakes are warm. Then I will notice she hangs up really bad and starts pulling the wheel. Uh, to one side really really bad so that was the other direction why I did a lot of reading on how much will the drilled or slotted or combinant combo actually cools your brakes a little better it's about 200 degrees roughly is the best average I could find on everything these don't have as many drilled uh, holes into them but they're saying power stop and the rest of them so uh, now when it comes to these pistons something I'll talk to you guys about in case you don't know it so Ford switched over from all metal pistons to and I'm going to pronunciate it wrong uh, they're the plastic piston it's P -A -G -N -L -O -C, something like that. Uh, so it's a plastic piston it's got a metal basically a washer that is uh, incorporated or clipped on in a way when it's manufactured and that rides the brake so you don't your plastics not directly on the back of the brake pad uh, so people think that's the dumbest thing ever there is a reason why it was done so your all metal pistons if they get a pinhole or anything in them they'll corrode uh, there is chance of water getting in on the brake fluid you start boiling that when you're using your brakes, it causes more corrosion on the all-metal piston. So Ford went to these plastic pistons, and it was supposed to be in hopes of it takes care of your corrosion problem. Problem is, if you have a heat problem with your caliper, that's going to overheat plastic, which is going to cause some ballooning issues. Uh, there's not going to be a corrosion issue unless it's the inside of the caliper itself. So you could I haven't dismantled any of these before on the Fords, so when I get my calipers off, I am going to pull them apart. I want to see what makes them go tick. Uh, so it could be corrosion on the inside of the caliper, but not the piston itself. They could still hang a plastic caliper up or plastic piston up, but wanted to get that out there. It's not a horrible idea. I could have opted for buying from a dealer that moved all the plastic out and put solid steel pistons in. Um, I'm trying to go on the cheap here and then do reviews so I can help people save a little damn money. My god, uh, these trucks are already so expensive. Why not, if you're getting the exact same deal for $500 less, why not go for it? Uh, I'm actually power stop. Everyone's like, put power stop on and be done with it read the reviews power stop is not what it was they've moved manufacturing plants things have changed there's guys putting them on and they've forgotten an o-ring and shooting brake fluid all over the place and then have to tear everything back down and find out which you know pull the caliper obviously know which one it is but uh, that's kind of where i'm at is 
is why not just go ahead and go down this road with it. So I will get, hopefully this Saturday, my brake lines will be in. I'm going to get these swapped out. Um, I actually have an extra wheel bearing to put on my passenger side, which never got a wheel bearing on. So trying to decide if I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this video, time lapse or whatever. Um, but I will get back with you guys on this. But like and subscribe. Give me some comments and tell me what you think. Later, guys.